The Lufubu Hydropower Project is born thanks to the synergy between the LPC, Lufubu Power Company, an independent power producer, and SP, Studio Pietrangeli Consulting Engineers. The Lufubu Hydroelectric Cascade will be situated in the northeast of Zambia, in the district of Mpulungu and Nzana, about 750 kilometers north-northeast of Lusaka, along the Lufubu River, an affluent of Lake Tanganyika. The cascade will comprise three plants, exploiting a geodetic head of approximately 330 meters and 1.8 billion cubic meters of water, thereby producing 1,284 gigawatt hours per year of energy, with a final installed power capacity of 326 megawatts. Construction of the three plants in the cascade will be in two phases, although the main civil works will be built entirely in the first phase, leaving only mechanical and electromechanical components to be upgraded and extended in the second phase. The first plant in the cascade is Lufubu 1, which will exploit a head of 137 meters and produce 522 gigawatt hours per year of energy, with a final installed power of 132 megawatts. Lufubu 1's reservoir will allow for full flow regulation. The main works will be a RCC gravity dam with a volume of 1.5 million cubic meters and a maximum height of 65 meters. The waterways from the reservoir to the powerhouse will include a culvert box channel, 4.6 kilometers long, which will be doubled during the second phase. A head pond. A 2.6 kilometers long penstock with a diameter of 4.2 meters. Another penstock will be installed in the second construction phase. A surge shaft with a 15 meter diameter. Finally, the Lufubu 1 powerhouse. To exploit the entire hydraulic head, the Lufubu 2 reservoir will start immediately downstream of the Lufubu 1 plant. Lufubu 2 will exploit an 83 meter head and produce 341 gigawatt hours per year of energy with a final installed power of 86 megawatts. The main works will comprise a 21-meter-high RCC gravity dam with a volume of 80,000 cubic meters. The Lufubu 2 waterways will be very similar to those of the upstream plant and include a culvert box channel, 
followed by a head pond and a penstock. No surge shaft has been foreseen. And last, the Lufubu 2 powerhouse. The channel, the penstock, and the electrical and electromechanical parts will be doubled in the second phase once the market becomes favorable for selling energy during daily peak times. The last plant in the cascade will be the Lufubu 3 plant, which, with its 93 meters head, will produce 421 gigawatt hours per year of energy, with a final installed power of 108 megawatts. The Lufubu 3 dam will have a central RCC gravity body and rockfill abutments with an upstream concrete facing. Just like the other two plants, the easily constructed waterways will be surface works, thus minimizing, if not completely annulling, any risks from unforeseen geological conditions. Again, as with the other two plants, Lufubu 3 will have a surface powerhouse. The Lufubu Cascade could play a fundamental role in fully developing Northeast Zambia by responding to a growing energy demand. Furthermore, its location would allow it to be easily connected to the East African Power Pool and the Southern African Power Pool, which are both potential markets. <laughs> 